So um, there we go. So good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for coming to this uh, last evening of the Open Science Evening Talks. So as uh, Jan told earlier, uh, this is uh, one, one side of uh, a, a one week long event that we uh, co-organized. So I'd like to thank the library for taking the opportunity and putting a lot of efforts in making these, these events really nice. I myself uh, was um, responsible for organizing together with a group of PhD students. I have to acknowledge their help. Uh, they've been fantastic. Uh, of this event, which was a, a PhD summer school. And uh, we wanted to invite the very best, but also give them the opportunity to talk, talk to uh, the public. And uh, I think so far I can safely say that it's been a, it's been a great success. Um, you should ask the students, of course, who participate, but uh, from my, my perspective, it's been, uh, it's been very interesting and a lot of fun. So I've been asked to also uh, give these closing remarks, and I don't think I had have anything to add to uh, what all the speakers have said. Um, for those who weren't here uh, in the past days, I think they're videotaping me as, as I speak, so they probably have taped uh, everybody else as well. I'm sure the videos will be uh, online uh, very soon. So please uh, have a look at these short talks uh, from the evening's sessions because uh, they'll summarize basically all what we've covered uh, during the rest of the week. Um, so why are we here? Um, I'm, I was hired uh, in January to sort of explore what, what open science is and what is the potential for, for EPFL. And uh, my personal vision is really uh, summarized in, in this tweet. I like to, to look at Twitter after a week of events and see what people have actually said about the content. And uh, Marta here sitting in the front uh, uh, um, uh, summarized what I had in one of my uh, opening session uh, slides. Uh, today's innovation is tomorrow's norm. So this is absolutely something I believe in, and I think Victoria was also saying about this evolution towards uh, transparency. Um, today, a lot of people are frustrating with the way science is done, not so much because it's badly done, but also because there are new things coming up, new technologies, and we need to adapt to this new world. So the world is changing, we need to adapt, uh, and, and um, the new solutions that people are proposing today will become uh, community norms in the future. If we don't train people at EPFL to understand what is going on and to learn the tools to adapt and be become better future scientists, uh, within five years will be completely obsolete, I think. So uh, this, is, this is my vision for open science. Uh, of course, uh, it's also because my boss tells me that I should care about it. Uh, but I think his vision is, is pretty much the same. And uh, uh, when he says he wants EPFL to be an institution that bets on, on open science, open knowledge. Um, so I'll, I'll summarize the take home messages that I've, I've heard from the speakers uh, in the rest of the week. And again, you know, the audience and, and the speakers themselves summarize it the best. Um, in, on the first day, we had a philosophical, historical definition perspective on open science. And uh, we quickly understand that it's a very complex uh, terminology that summarizes a lot of initiatives. Um, so, you know, you know everything about open access, open data, blah, blah, but it, it goes further than this. Uh, we heard about inclusion, how open science should be also inclusive in terms of gender, uh, origin, but also inclusive with the public, uh, not just scientists, you know, being open to scientists. That doesn't make much sense. Um, and then the second uh, uh, statement uh, that came from, from a speaker today, actually, um, or yesterday, sorry, saying uh, open is one thing, and, and I agree entirely with thing. Uh, open is a cherry on cake. Uh, the cake itself is about uh, uh, being doing good science. And the uh, reproducibility, the reusability, the robustness of what scientists do is uh, more important than the openness. The openness comes at the end of a process. Um, you, we, you talked about uh, somehow um, what I would call a radical openness, where you make your entire process open. Uh, this is one thing that can be explored, but uh, I think today we should really focus on, on, on quality and then uh, on openness. And uh, why is it important? Uh, I mean, there have been many reasons that were described uh, for open science to be really important. Uh, I just put two here. Uh, very selfish reasons, actually. Uh, scientists should think of open science and good quality science not only as a very altruistic sort of this is going to save the world thing, but uh, really uh, selfishly 
um, they, they, there are issues when you don't think about open science too seriously. Uh, one is about IP, uh, one is about you know skills and, and how uh, uh, sometimes it's actually a good thing to be sharing things. Uh, then we talked about the barriers a lot. We debated whether uh, this was realistic or not. Um, again, there's this ideal world of open science up there. Uh, and and uh, I think that these two comments also uh, um, summarize uh, what we need to acknowledge. First, we're humans. We make mistakes. Uh, being open and exposing those mistakes doesn't mean we're going to be shamed in public, or at least we should build a culture where it's not happening. Um, and the other thing is also uh, all of these issues are all very complex. Uh, as an institution and as an individual researcher, there's no way we can tackle them all uh, in the next days or weeks or years. So we need to pick battles and be good open scientists, uh, but we don't need to be fully open scientists. And then uh, something today, which uh, resonates in the last talk that we had, is that um, working openly is about giving explicit permission to reuse uh, what we do. And it's sad, I realize after the talk uh, today, because I think uh, being open should be the default. But the truth is, it's not the case. We live in an environment that, that pushes everybody to be very close uh, for various reasons, IP, but also competition and, and many other selfish reasons. Um, being an open scientist is basically claiming that you want others to reuse the knowledge you're producing, to reuse the tools that you're inventing. And uh, uh, I think making this claim is, is hopefully going to become uh, more better recognized and, and more valued in the future. So uh, to, to finish, I'd just like to mention that uh, tomorrow uh, we carry on with the summer school. Uh, it's only during the day, so unfortunately th th those people who have a job and are busy during the day won't be able to join. But if you are flexible and can make it to the, the, the computer science department here at EBFL, we're running a full day of very short presentations, about short like, like those tonight, where scientists from the campus come and present the way they do their science and what they think is open in, in the way they do it. And the goal is really to build a community of people who have a vision. Uh, most of these visions probably don't align 100%, but it doesn't matter. I really just want to learn from each other and see how, as a, as a EPFL community, we can, we can discuss about these issues. So this whole week was meant to be uh, a conversation, and uh, we want to uh, continue. I shouldn't have said, let's start with the conversation, because I think uh, the conversation has started long ago, way before I arrived, hopefully. But uh, let's, let's continue with this conversation. So thank you very much. Uh, I unfortunately have to run, and I have to run with Victoria because we have a dinner uh, in town uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but we'll stay for five, ten minutes. Uh, if you have any question, uh, there's not my email on this slide, but uh, uh, maybe it is on the first one. I can't remember now. Uh, no, it's not either. So uh, Google me. You'll find me. Thank you very much. Any, any pressing question? No. Very well. All clear. So uh, are you inviting people for drinks? Yes. yes. So we can continue now the conversation over the apparel. <laughs>